So you all know when you're working in Python, you get errors. Uh, particularly here, talk, talking about one error file, std in comma line one. Okay. So in a command prompt, so this is a python.exe command prompt. If you type some value like you no know, three plus three, you get a value. Sometimes if you say three plus three plus, so immediately you get an error. File std in line one. So this is a mismatch actually. There is one more plus mark making that it's a uh, unreadable, so it gives an error. So you can also make like this 3 plus 3 equals 2. So again, there is an error. So the only thing is there is extra symbol, so which is the problem. So likewise, there are many errors will occurs, and let's look at like you now how to solve the errors. So here is another example. We are defining the function a comma b, and um, immediately when I press enter key, so immediately you get the error because why? After a comma b, you have to be colon here that is missing so now you can see that that is rectified a comma b colon okay then you can say print a comma b that is done so now you can call the function function 1 comma 2 so you're printing 1 comma 2 that is a b so because it's print a comma b next in the same function so we are assigning the value to a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 and we are calling it so there is no problem is printing the values but next time what I have done is a is equal to 1 but b is equal to 2 instead of that you just only write the 2. So because of that error is occurring. Likewise, if there is a small mistake that error will occur, so we will see like in detail what are the possible errors and when all these errors occur. Okay, so let me take pen. So this is the file std in line 1. So that is the common error we are getting. So this is the beginning and you are learning now Python. So probably these are the things will happen. But you need to understand each error and you need to learn like how to solve the each error. So invalid syntax in the Python. So therefore the syntax is not in correct order. There may be some extra symbol or uh, instead of comma you are given a full stop. So something has happened, the syntax is not in order. Common reason for syntax errors. So Python is known for simple syntax, even though there may be chances that you make a mistake. However, when you are writing program, you will come across with the syntax errors. So here is an example that I shown already, 3 plus, 3 plus is given, this plus is extra. So because of that, this error is occurring. So plus is the extra there. So here is another one, here we say equal. So there is a equal sign. So because of that equal sign, so it's showing a error. So here we have another one, len is equal to hello is equal to 5. So here you can see that uh, equal, so equal is assign operator. It means that you are assigning the value 5 to the this len, but not possible. So because of that, the error is occurring. But what is the idea? If you want to compare, then you have to use the equal, the double equal sign. So when you use hello, so this is a single quote and len is a function to find how many characters are there, there is 5. So here you can see that double quotes, so double equal sign. Twice you have to type equal is equal to 5. So then it will give the result true. But if you miss 1, then it is an error, syntax error. Fine. So in uh, this one more here, misspelling. Okay. So here in this case you can check it out. So far i in range 10, that is what we are reading but actually here is not far. This is FOR instead of that FRO. So that is a spelling mistake. Misspelling will also lead to the error. Missing keyword. So here is another example for I range 10. But actually here that should be in actually. For I in range 10. So therefore in is missing. There is a missing keyword. When you miss the keyword or sometimes you don't put the colon here. So that error will occur. So misusing keyword. So if you use the keyword unnecessarily, then also you'll get the error. So here in this case, you say break. So you're using the break, but break has to be used inside the loop. But here there is no loop. Uh, only with the if condition, if you try to use the break, it's a again error. So common mistakes we do is misspelling a keyword. So all keywords should be typed properly. 
if there is a misspelling then the error will occurs missing keyword if you don't use the keyword there are three keywords has to be used but you use only two then also this error will occur misusing the keyword that means you are not supposed to use but in that case you are using it and indentation so you have to give the proper indentation because we are not using the braces here as like in c therefore indentation has to be proper if you don't maintain the proper indentation with the statements then also the error will occurs so often the cause is invalid syntax in a python code so mismatched closing parenthesis bracket quote all this raises to the problem you can spot the mismatch or missing quotes with the help of python the traceback there is a concept called the traceback so when you write a program in the idle or in any uh, editor and when you run this there is a traceback traceback will go you give you idea where is the error so here is you can see the defined function but here instead of colon we are given as a com semicolon so because of that there is a error here so this function i show so here this is a function so this is okay this calling is okay but here a is equal to 1 but 2 b is equal to 2 you have to give but simply you say 2 so therefore this parameter is not matching with this so it's an error here sometimes code that works perfectly fine with one version of python breaks in the newer versions so if you are working if you are working earlier 2. Point some versions now you are working on 3. Point some so there may be some changes so that you need to figure out what are the changes so for example the print works perfectly fine in 2.1 or 7 so here is a print hello but now the print should have the parenthesis in the both the sides so you should close the bracket so please take care when you writing the program so wish you all the best keep practice keep learn every day you need to practice to you know to understand the whole concept and to familiarize with the language and write better programs so please subscribe to our channel and we'll come with the more videos you can get the benefit so please contact us if you have any requirement thank you for watching